Out of nowhere, China has released something we've rarely seen before. Crystal clear, two-minute footage of its elusive DF-100 supersonic cruise missile in action. But this isn't just a technical showcase. It's a deliberate, carefully timed reveal that hints at surprising flexibility, precision, and mobility. Today, we're breaking down what was shown, how this system works, why this timing matters, and what it all tells us about a fast-evolving shift in the Indo-Pacific's high-tech defense landscape. The DF-100 footage stands out for one simple reason. China has never released this much, this clearly, about such a closely held system. For nearly two minutes, viewers see the missile loaded, prepared, and launched, and the setting is nothing like the remote, dusty ranges where these tests usually happen. Instead, the backdrop includes urban features, buildings, paved roads, and nearby infrastructure. This choice of location isn't cosmetic. It demonstrates that the DF-100 can be deployed from areas that blend into everyday surroundings. This means it's not limited to obvious military bases or isolated test grounds. It can operate in places that are harder to monitor. For any force trying to keep track of it, this mobility adds an entirely new challenge. The footage also captures a training sequence under simulated electronic interference. Operators are shown switching from wireless communications to wired connections before completing the launch procedure. This illustrates resilience. Even when digital signals are jammed, the system and its crew can adapt and still function. It's a practical demonstration of readiness in less than perfect conditions. Adding a human dimension, the brigade's deputy commander describes the lifestyle that comes with maintaining this kind of readiness, long periods on standby, irregular rest, and the constant need to be able to respond quickly. While it's a small moment in the video, it's a telling one, highlighting the operational tempo behind the scenes. Visually, the launch sequence also differs from previous glimpses of the DF-100. Past appearances were brief and often blurred or censored. This time, the public got a full, uninterrupted view. That decision in itself suggests a shift in communication strategy. Rather than keeping the system entirely in the shadows, China has chosen to let the world see it in action on its terms. At the heart of the DF-100's importance are its core performance characteristics. It's classified as a supersonic cruise missile with a cruising speed of around Mach 4, roughly four times the speed of sound. At such speeds, distance is compressed. A target located thousands of kilometers away can be reached in under an hour. Its range, based on credible open source assessments, is between 3,000 and 4,000 kilometers when launched from land. That already covers a vast portion of the Indo-Pacific region, but the capability doesn't stop there. When paired with China's H-6 and bomber, the range could extend towards 6,000 kilometers, allowing it to reach locations far beyond the immediate region. One of the most important attributes is accuracy. Reports indicate it can strike within meters of a designated point. This level of precision makes it useful for targeting critical infrastructure or high-value assets without the need for large payloads. The payload capacity itself hasn't been officially detailed, but analysts believe it's designed for flexibility in what it can carry, depending on the mission profile. Another factor is its low-altitude flight profile. Supersonic cruise missiles often fly lower than ballistic missiles, reducing the time radar systems have to detect and track them. This compressed detection-to-response window forces any defense system to work faster and with greater accuracy, which is a challenging technical demand. Mobility enhances these traits. The DF-100 is mounted on a Road Mobile Transporter Erector Launcher, TEL, allowing it to be moved and concealed until needed. This mobility means it can be positioned closer to potential operational zones without being permanently stationed there, maintaining flexibility and reducing vulnerability. When combined, speed, range, precision, and mobility create a system that fits neatly into a strategy aimed at controlling large operational areas. By being able to reach and accurately strike across wide distances in a short time, it changes how other forces plan their movements and where they can safely operate. The reveal of this footage wasn't random. It came just before a major national parade marking a historically significant anniversary. This event is a platform where advanced technology is often showcased to highlight progress and capability. By releasing the DF-100 footage in the lead-up, the timing ensures maximum visibility and impact. 
The release also aligned with other high-profile military technology features in state media, such as demonstrations of new launch systems for aircraft carriers. This coordinated approach suggests a broader messaging campaign, one that combines multiple advancements into a single, powerful narrative of modernization and readiness. For a domestic audience, this kind of release boosts confidence in national capabilities. It's a visual demonstration that projects competence, technical skill, and continual progress. For an international audience, especially those monitoring developments in the region, it's a signal that certain operational capabilities are no longer hypothetical. They exist, they are functioning, and they are being integrated into active units. The choice to show an urban launch setting reinforces this message. It's not simply about range or speed, it's about operational flexibility. This is the kind of adaptability that makes planning against such systems more complex. It says, in effect, that this technology can operate under a wide range of conditions and locations, and it can do so reliably. The inclusion of training under simulated interference is also a statement. Modern systems must be able to function in environments where communications, navigation, or targeting systems are disrupted. By showing that the DF-100's crew can switch methods and complete their tasks under such conditions, the footage communicates resilience and adaptability. Taken together, these elements make the release about more than a single piece of hardware. It's a carefully crafted moment that ties technical capability to strategic narrative. The timing magnifies the message, the setting and operational context deepen it. In August 2025, rare high-quality footage of China's DF 100 missile appeared during a national military parade, sparking global interest. This hypersonic system is believed to reach extremely high speeds, cover long ranges, and feature advanced maneuverability, making it one of the most notable innovations in aerospace and missile technology. While official details remain limited, its public debut in such detail is seen as a clear showcase of China's engineering progress. The event has opened wide discussions among technology and defense experts about its true capabilities and its potential impact on the global tech landscape.